All right, so what we're gonna make today is actually a text box engine. Just to kind of get an idea of what to kind of expect, what we're gonna actually do is we're making a text box that you can actually put into any of your projects, current project or not. And the text box will be able to expand and collapse. It will also scroll text. We'll have it to where you can put a picture of who's talking as well. It will have parts. So like, let's say you're in the game and you're talking, you talk to the person three times and then it breaks, the player can move around. You come back to the person, talk to them again, and it continues talking. That is what I'm calling a break or a part inside the conversation. So we will also make those as well. Hold on, gotta fix my microphone real quick. Yes, we will make those as well. Oh, uh, let's see here. There we go, much better. Uh, another thing that we will actually make inside this box is we will give the option to where you can have hidden events happen. So within the conversation, at a certain part of the conversation, you can have another level unlock or take the player to a secret place, whatever it is you want to do. All right. We're also going to allow you to have the option to do things per sentence. So let's say you want it on this sentence to show a picture of the person that's talking all happy and the next sentence he's like angry and so you make a picture of him that is angry on the second sentence and then the third sentence you have it to where the player gets a lot of money and so on etc you'll be able to do whatever you want to do per sentence and or per part of the conversation so without any further ado let's go ahead and get on Program. All right, so we have a few things that we need to make real quick to get started. Let's go ahead and make a room. Uh, let's just make this full HD. Speed of 60. Enable views. We'll make this HD as well. And let's create an object. And we'll call this OBJ. For right now, text box. Yes, and another thing is you'll be able to do things differently per person that's talking. So you can have the box appear in the center of the room, above that person that's talking, or at the bottom center of the room if you want to. You can have one person have a blue background when he talks, and another person have a red background when he talks. You can do all of that, and it is very, very amazing. Very, very simple, very great actually. It's a very great and powerful text box tool. So let's go ahead and get this going because this video will probably end up being three parts, maybe, maybe four. I'm going to try to put it in three, but I don't want a video to be too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record the whole thing and I'll just break up the parts and upload them all together at the same time. So you don't have to worry about, dang it, I just got to part two, but this guy is busy working on a project. So part three is not going to come out. No, 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 no. You don't have to worry about that. When the part one comes out, all the other parts will be out too. All right. So let's get going. The first thing we're going to need to do is make an object text box, right? Go ahead and okay that. And then we're going to add a create event. And this is where we're going to start creating a lot of variables, actually setting everything up. Uh, let's go ahead and do creating variables. Okay, so let's see here. A few things we need is we need to tell the game the conversation has started. So we're gonna make convo equals false. Now, just in case in your game, you wanna make it to where the player cannot move when the conversation starts, we're going to make a global variable as well. We're gonna make it global convo, which is gonna equal false. And when that equals true, player will not be able to move. Just like that. 
Uh, I like using comments, so... Alright. Let's see, a few more of the things we're gonna need to do is make some variables that will be setting the location of the text box based on view. So what we're gonna do, and I'm trying to use vi variables that you probably did not use in your game, just in case you plug this straight into your current project. Do keep that in mind. And if you aren't putting this into your current project, then you're all good to go. You wouldn't have to worry about nothing. So I'm gonna do um, M, oh my bad, M, X, X, one, which would be my X location. So actually, let me just do M, X, one. There we go, my X. And this one's gonna be the view zero. And then we're gonna do M, Y, one, which will be the Y view of zero. And then we're gonna create some more locations or location variables. But this time it's gonna be based on the person talking. So we're gonna do my X2. And this is gonna be X, my XY2, Y. Now, why are we putting a lot of variables? Good question. So, ooh, I misspelled that. Based, I misspelled that too. It's supposed to be based, not bossed. Based on this one is going to be centering. Centering. All right, let me fix these things. So why are we putting these inside of variables? Because we're making an engine. We're not making a hard-coded event. We're making an engine, which means if our engine is made correctly and very good and very efficient, efficiently, we should not have to go into our engine once it's done and tweak our engine in order to do what it is you're trying to get done. We really should not have to ever open up the engine again. That's how you know you made a pretty <laughs> a pretty good engine. Very good. So let's continue. This one's going to be MX3. And we'll have this being the width of the view divided by half. So that puts it in the center of the room. And then just in case this is a text box, so maybe you want it like in the center of the room, but at the bottom kind of like, we'll do the height of the view and we'll minus it by 300. That will be the starting point. So in this case, we have 1080 subtracted by 300, whatever that is, that is where it will begin. <laughs> Which I think is like 700 or 800, something like that. Hey, I do my math when it comes to actually programming, not making variables. All right, so this right here will be the range, the talk range. Oops. Use for checking. Player is within talk range. And what we'll do with that is we'll check to see if the player is in a certain range that we want it to be. And then if he presses a certain button, he will start the conversation. Now, again, since we're making an engine, we need to make this pretty simple as well. So what we're going to do is create some variables for buttons that are used to proceed or start combo. So we're going to have talk button. And I guess for now, we'll just make this equal E. So to start a conversation, you press E. To proceed in the conversation, which we'll call that next button, you press R. Now, if you want to in your game, you can simply just have the talk button both start the conversation and proceeds in the conversation. But like I said, we're making an engine that's very flexible, very powerful, and so we're giving the option of two. Maybe you want examining items to be the talk button and starting conversations with the NPCs to be the R button, next button. So the options there. Now, as I mentioned, mentioned earlier, inside conversations, you will actually be able to have hidden, hidden events. 
So that's what we're about to make right now. We're about to make the possibility for hidden events inside of current dialogue. And I guess for now we'll just make this five. Let me go ahead and write this. Um, if true, player, man, I can't type right now. Player will receive an event after talking a certain amount of time. There we have it. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is create used for making text scroll and highlight. Highlight. There we go. So we're going to have scroll text, which is going to equal zero. And then we're going to have scroll timer which is going to equal, I don't know, let's say 0 0.5. All right. Then after that, we're going to make the variables that are needed in order to make the conversation proceed and for the conversation to break as well. That we will do by creating a instance variable called num. All right, short for number, we'll put that at one. This is gonna be used to select, I guess the next thing to say, there we go, used to do that. Then we're gonna do the num max. This is going to equal, uh, it will change depending on how many sentences we have, but for now, we'll make this five, but we definitely will be changing that, just letting you know. Uh, this will be used as the max amount of things character will say. And now we need to make variables that kind of creates the part. So I guess these will be used to tell when a certain part of the combo is reached. Yeah, I guess that works. And we'll call this combo part max. This is the max amount of parts your conversation actually has. And next we'll do a combo part. And this will be the current part, which will start on one. So this is the current part of combo. This one is max amount of parts in current. I guess I can say current combo, yeah. There we go. So now we pretty much have all the variables that we actually need to get the whole entire engine up and running successfully. But there's a few things that we need to start adding and this is pretty much where we're going to start adding all of the dialogue the character is ever going to be saying. So I guess this is going to be a list or I probably should put a list of everything the NPC so this will be a list of everything the NPC or characters will say yeah there we go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an argument not an argument what are these called um what are these called 1d arrays that's what we're gonna do. we're gonna call it speak one and this will equal whatever is going to equal um for right now let's go ahead and do hello hello this is me and that is you right we'll make another one called speak to and be like i know you do not understand but oranges, oranges are very, put a line break in there, uh, tasting or tasty. I don't even know how taste, 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 tasty, tasty, 
Ah, there we go. All right. And then what we do is this will be part one because I kind of want you to see how things are kind of working. So this is part one of the combo. All right, then we're gonna have another part in here, the part two. And we'll have, starting at three, this one up saying something like, that is very useful info. Too bad I did not ask for it. <gasps> did he really just get an attitude? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So now he's going to answer back. And don't worry, this is the last sentence. I just need to put this in here so you can kind of see what's going on with the whole entire engine. Uh, let's see here. And the last one will be fine. Just leave me be, exclamation mark. There we go. So now we kind of have our whole entire dialogue set up. All right. But since we're making an engine, we're gonna go ahead and add more of these real quick. Okay, so you can add, I say at least, I don't know, you can ask so many. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do like this. Type speak, six, nothing in there. Start at the bottom, move up one, copy, come down here. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. 41 different sentences, all right. Now, I don't know, you might be like, is that a lot? Well, remember, you are making an engine. If you have to come back into your engine every time and add more, just so then you can start saying more, then you did not make your engine efficient enough. So this is pretty much giving you a lot of room to add dialogue, okay? You have up to 41 sentences, is that what we just made? Or adding to it just so that you can put more dialogue and all this kind of stuff. You want to make sure it's feature proof, I guess to say, or project proof, regardless of which project you put it in. A text based project, a story driven project, an RPG project, whatever project it might be. You just want to give yourself room. Make sure you have enough to where you don't have to keep tweaking your engine. Instead, you just work on what it is you want to put in your game, what it is you want your character to say, etc. 41. Awesome. So we have 41 dialogues just like that. So now this person's going to have two conversation parts, part one and part two. So the max amount is going to be two. We're going to start it off on the first part, just like that. He only has a total of two sentences in the first part. So num max is going to actually start off on two, just like that. All right, so this setup is completed. Let's go ahead and save the project. And now it's time to actually start creating the engine. All right, this is where everything happens. And yes, the whole entire engine is set up in the draw. And if you haven't noticed, it's set up on one object, just like this. The reason why it's set up this way is because you're gonna take, which I will show you once we get to that section of this tutorial, but you're going to take what you just created in the create and the draw event, and you will put just these two items on any character or anything period that you want to start talking or showing dialogue, showing text on screen, and it will automatically work just like that. So now it's time to actually start, well, the engine. <laughs> 